10 tricks that you may or may not know in Counter-Strike 2, part 6. Enjoy! I am currently hosting a knife giveaway for this lovely Navaha knife Beryl Forest. All you have to do to join is head on over to my YouTube, click on the community tab, and you'll see a post with instructions on how to join. Thank you and good luck! Starting over on Inferno today on the B site, if your teammate comes to plant on the default position, as they're planting, as long as you have a teammate watching towards CT, you can actually walk up onto their head and look over into behind Coffin. This makes an angle that's not easy to pre-aim, and will definitely catch the person off guard that's there. When people start the round on T side and they molly into apps, it usually lands around here. Not reaching far enough down this hallway to make impact. But as long as you shoot out the window and aim where shown while running, you can do a jump throw and this is going to bounce off the door, resulting in a deeper molly that's going to stop this person pushing apps walk down at all. Pair this with a teammate in T apps and you can have a really nice spam towards someone that just gets absolutely stopped by this. If the enemy really likes to peek this balcony area quite frequently, you can use this boost to just potentially kill them with a nice little angle with a friend. Having a teammate stand right here and just watching towards the alleyway, whilst you get on their head and you can just watch here and you can just absolutely catch someone off guard, as this is a very uncommon spot to be pre-aiming. Over in mini pit now, if you know someone is low on health and they're up in apps, you can actually push yourself into this corner here and just spam. And that goes up in towards apps, dealing about 11 damage per bullet and about 30 to the head. I find this spot very underutilized. If you're in a retake situation and you want to save against a B attack, and you find that CT smoked off, you can hide into this corner right here. As no one ever checks this, you can easily have trigger discipline in this corner, letting multiple enemies pass just to finish them. Also on the CT choke point on B side, you can shoot through this wall into church with an orb. Moving over to Ancient now, finding yourself inside of A main as a CT, you can jump up on this ledge right here and jump up onto the floodlight, resulting in a nasty angle towards people that are pushing in. As for someone to peek this, most of your head's being hidden so you can't get one shot, resulting in an unfair advantage. Over in the temple area just behind A site, if you didn't know, there's actually a roof right here which allows you to throw out utils such as flashes and smokes. So say you're in a 1v1, you could just give a flashbang a left click, right click throw, right here. Flashbang. And that sounds like you're pushing towards the CT side. But to their surprise, you're pushing out of temple very quick, therefore boosting your win rate of the round. Moving on to Vertigo now. If you're down in the tunnel area between both sides, and you're in like a 1v1, 1v2, 1v3, whatever, you can come up to this wall right here, aim right here where shown, and just do a walking left click throw. And that's going to pop just out here behind B. This could be a really great flash to use as a fake, as you may have someone sitting back here on B site and they're going to hear a flash pop, thinking maybe it's towards mid, leaving you to just quickly walk up towards the A site and just give you a better chance to win the round. Lastly, moving on to Dust 2. If you're in a retake situation, you and a teammate can just jump up onto this box here and boost someone. And as you move forward, you can see over the box towards the big box in the middle of site, potentially catching someone off guard. Navi used this in a game yesterday, and although they didn't catch a frag off it, it still gave them a great opportunity to break open the site to retake. Moving over to CT now, if the T's have thrown the CT smoke to B, you can actually jump up onto this box right here and catch them off guard. As long as it's landed on the ground, you can see over this smoke. So as you can see, you can see over this smoke. And even if you want to see deeper, you can just repeatedly jump here. And you're going to be able to tell when someone's coming out. You can also have a teammate boost you up onto this box here on the left side. And you can see people's heads that are scaling along this back wall here. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I post at a minimum of two times a week. Have a good day or night, and thank you for watching. Oh my god, it's insane.